My name used to be Eric, a typical boy navigating the ups and downs of adolescence. Little did I know, life was about to take an unexpected turn. It all started when my mother decided that turning me into Erica was a fitting punishment. I often find myself sitting on the steps, pondering the peculiar twist of fate that led me here. Just a few months ago, I was Eric, playing video games, hanging out with friends, and oblivious to the impending change that would redefine my entire existence. The transformation from Eric to Erica is a journey I never anticipated. My mother, convinced that altering my gender was the key to teaching me a lesson, orchestrated this unusual punishment. As I reflect on this perplexing situation, the reality of its permanence sinks in. Last week marked a surreal moment when I discovered the undeniable signs of my new identity. It wasn't just about a change in name, it was a physical transformation. The emergence of breasts served as a tangible reminder that Erica Rice was now my reality. The world looks different through Erica's eyes. Each day is a blend of confusion, self-discovery, and a longing for the familiarity of my former life as Eric. Yet, here I am, navigating a world that sees me differently, trying to understand the lessons this unexpected journey has to offer. Embracing the name Erica came with a whirlwind of challenges and adjustments. My wardrobe transformed from jeans and t-shirts to dresses and skirts, a visual reminder of the external changes I couldn't escape. The awkwardness of learning to walk in heels and the unfamiliar sensation of makeup on my face became part of my daily routine. Social interactions took on a new complexity. Former friends looked at me with a mix of curiosity and confusion, adjusting to the girl in their midst. Simple conversations became intricate dances, as I navigated the uncharted territory of being Erica. Yet, amid the challenges, there were unexpected moments of self-discovery. I found strength in expressing emotions that had long been suppressed. The camaraderie among girls brought a sense of belonging I hadn't known before. As Erica, I learned to appreciate the intricacies of friendships, the unspoken bond between girls sharing laughter and secrets. School became a microcosm of societal perceptions, and I faced both acceptance and prejudice. Some classmates embraced the change, while others whispered behind their hands, perpetuating gossip and speculation. Erica became a subject of fascination, and I learned to shield myself from the judgmental glances. As the months unfolded, my mother's attempt at punishment became a transformative journey. I discovered resilience within myself, an ability to adapt to circumstances I never envisioned. The initial resentment gave way to a growing acceptance of Erica as a part of who I am. Despite the unconventional path, there were moments of beauty in this new life. Whether it was feeling the breeze in a flowing skirt or experiencing the joy of genuine connections, Erica's journey became more than just a punishment, it evolved into a unique chapter of self-discovery, challenging societal norms and redefining the very essence of identity.